We are going to reach into that quotes folder again today. And today's quote is one that, it's one of the quotes that I have posted in many places in my house. And it is, success is seldom convenient. I remember when I came up with that quote, I was back working as a financial planner and I was attending one of those large conferences to get y'all pumped up to go, you know, do more, be more, be more successful. And as I was listening to all the speakers, it just came to me, you know, this is something that I think people who are not successful believe that the people who are successful, it came pretty easily to them and they had lots of advantages. So I'm a person who's really struggling with success in some part of my life and I look at the people who in that same part of my life are very successful. It's really easy for me to go like, yeah, well, they are because they had the easy road. They, they didn't have it as tough as I had it. And, and I'm, and I believe that the, that's number one, that's not even close to being true. And that the people who are successful, when you hear their stories, those are the inspiring stories, the motivating stories, the stories of, man, you came from next to nothing to achieve what you have. And so I guess my thought of you had it easy, easier than I did. If you had it as tough as I did, you certainly wouldn't be where you are. I guess I got to throw all that out the window right now because that's not even close to the truth. I think that's why from time to time we love the stories of somebody's life portrayed on TV in a special series or on a, uh, a, a, um, a movie. You know, those stories of, wow, I didn't realize that person was struggling through all that they were and still accomplished what they did. I think success is seldom convenient. I think if you want to if, if you want to be successful, you're going to have to go above and beyond. You know, it's easy to think about it in terms of business. You're going to put in more hours. You're going to put in more days. You're going to be more dedicated, more focused. And there's a lot of things that go with that. But we're not just talking about success in business. We're talking about success in relationships. Success in you managing your health. Success in you um, having a great social life in whatever that translates into for you. It's success in any area. You got to fight for it. So the question then becomes, how badly do you want it? So my question for you, and this is the way I want to end this is, what to you is, is right now something that would be most rewarding to achieve? What, what's your focus right now? What do you really want? Do you want a relationship? Do you want success in business? Do you want success in some part of your personal life? Identify that. And then my question is, have you, where are you on that grand spectrum or scale with terms of how much you're fighting for this? How much are you really fighting for success in that area? Were you initially and then you got discouraged and now you got to admit to yourself, no, I, you know what, Craig, you're right. I'm not fighting now as much as I was then, but man, I just got beat down a little bit in the middle here. And so it's hard for me to recapture that. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. Life ain't fair. And you got to go back to that. But that's as soon as you recognize that, you go, okay, well, you know, I've recognized that. Now I need to dedicate myself to getting back to that level of commitment to doing what it, it is going to take for me to be successful. I don't know what the pathway is. All I'm doing is asking you the question, trying to help you out. 
What's one area of your life you'd like to be a little bit more successful in? And now ask yourself the question, how badly do I want it? And has how badly I want it, intellectually, emotionally, translated equally into actions? I can say and believe and really feel that I want it badly, but I'm not doing anything about it. So number one, what's the most one? Am I really strong? Do I really feel strongly about this? And if so, are my actions corresponding with that? Hey, I don't know what your answer will be. I hope that if it's in some areas, yes, then you'll say, well, cool. I'm good to go in that area. Now let me check out another area. And if there's, if the first time you ask yourself that question, the one that's most significant to me, the one I want to be most successful in, you know what? I'm not as dedicated to my success, or I think it's supposed to be easier than it is. I'm getting frustrated, and I now need to rededicate myself. Well, good. I'm glad I helped. I'm, I'm rooting for you, and I'd love to hear your successes on the back end and your struggles, too. Let's, we're all in this together. Let's get through it. If I can help you any other way, shoot me a question. I'll be happy to try to help you out. That's my tip for today. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out. Thanks for watching. Till next time, stay cool. Have great, have good, I was going to say good thoughts. I, I, shoot, for today only, I'm going to have great thoughts. Maybe I should change it to that anyway. I don't know. Whatever. Have good thoughts. If you really want to up your game, have some great thoughts. See ya.